Well, controversy over a music flyer from Wilson Elementary tonight. This is regarding the Wilson Weekly letter, and some parents we talked to today say that letter was a big mistake. They say it's an unfortunate situation for their community. Peter Choi explains what was on the flyer and why some parents say they want to see change moving forward. The weekly newsletter from Wilson Elementary right behind me shocked some parents. Parents were asked to dress students up as slaves and hobos for the music program. And tonight some parents say it was a mistake that should have never happened in the first place. And I believe the training needs to start with the teachers. On Wednesday, heated discussion was held with community members. Someone would hold another adult responsible for my child's education. About the controversial weekly letter from Wilson Elementary. Asking kids to dress up as hobos and slaves, it's dehumanizing. Spoken NAACP President Lisa Gartner says there's a difference between intent and impact. But the impact, especially to the black and brown community, especially with the history of minstrel shows and blackface, that impact was a negative impact. and that attention goes out the door. I'm sorry for this issue. We are sorry for the issue. The Wilson Parent Teacher Group says the man in this video doesn't represent the Wilson community. We spoke with his wife today, parent Josie Dix, says she agrees that insensitive language in a flyer was a big mistake. I have talked to other educators in the building and I wish that our administrator would have reviewed the flyer. However, she wants to hear more from the music teacher and have her be part of the discussion. Hope that she can retain her job in music education. Mm -hmm. I hope that our administrator mm -hmm. at Wilson Elementary is held accountable for flyers that go out. SPS says cannot discuss employee matters or her status with a school. I would hope that this could be a learning experience for all of us. Peter Choi. Four now.